We have had a doozy of a day. What an excellent day for an exorcism. Welcome to the Horror Basement and Beyond with the Big Ball Buddies, Jim Jam and Johnny. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny, and always, Jim Jam's here with me. Jim Jam here. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing great. Uh, fall is upon us, officially. I think you know what sucks? I saw what the temperature will be next week. Next this week, day. or the, yeah. what it was after this comes out. Yes, uh, 95, there's 95 degree on there. Yes, uh, Thunder, so, just trying to go out with a bang. This is on a Sunday, um, and no, ninety-three. Summer is uh, letting us know that it's not officially fall yet, bitches. And uh, get ready to sweat Wednesday. Yeah, and like Tuesday, Wednesday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be in here. These here 90, in Tennessee, ninety-three. And uh, Monday's 87, but after that, it goes on 84, 78. And then when fall actually officially hits the 22nd, which is already I'm past this, I am looking forward to the 70s. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, my birthday's coming up next week. You know that? Why don't you get your mouth open? I'll read that. So, ego, ego, then them forks. Ego... Then them forks hire cops, eh? Ego. I don't know, man. Ego. It, it, anyways, that's. But uh, yeah. So official fall is like the twenty second, I guess, and it's gonna start cooling down. It's gonna start cooling down. We're looking forward to it. Pants and hoodie weather. Oh, I bought two new flannels today. Shit. With their thick flannels, they're like. Flackets? Would you call a flannel jacket a flacket? Uh -huh. hey, Johnny. I mean, they call them schwackets, the sweater jackets for women. What color are they? One of them is uh, black and gray, and the other one is like a desert tan. You know what would be cool? To get a white logo put on the back of it. Would not be cool? The horror base would be on. See that color? Yeah, that would put that in. I don't know, the white would fucking blend. But, um, yeah, so, uh, I got me two flannels today. Thirty fucking dollars now. You didn't get, you know, that Dixon flannel? No, I can't afford that. Um, this is expensive enough at thirty dollars, where they used to be twenty. Dixon's like sixty, ain't they? Yeah, to a hundred and something. And they're not thick. These are like jackets. They got buttons on the pockets. Oh, shit. I mean, like, it's a, it's a pretty decent, um, Walmart special, uh, but... I've been, and lately I haven't been able, and I could fit into a 2X one. Uh-oh. I, but I, I bought a 3X one for work, so, because I'm on a Fort Lift, and I want to be able to, but I, got, I did get a 2X in the lighter color, so I can wear that as my my fancy one, because uh, we po over here. <laughs> po po. <laughs> okay. I'm still not able to shop at Walmart, so. I can get underwear and socks, but that's about it. Well, you're going to have to step up your game, like steps. Yeah, my ankles like saying otherwise. Well, but you, once you start losing them ankles, you start gaining muscle. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, thank you for being here. Make sure you go follow us on the Big Ball Buddies. Uh, with fall coming up, uh, I just wanted to bring up the Airy Scope. Looking forward to Airy Scopes, uh, which will be out next month. Uh, short Halloween yeah. short annual short, and it's like going on like what fourteen years. Like that. It's been a long time. You should go watch Airy Scope on YouTube and go watch all our short films. It's really funny. Um, Adam Green is the uh, creator of Airy Scope. Him and his friend, I can't remember. This is D DP, is director of photography. Yeah, I don't know his name. So. Sorry, but yeah. You Him matter, but you don't matter. No, I'm just kidding. That's mean. That's fucking mean, Johnny. Uh, I went and watched Pearl, the... Prequel to X was a good movie. Um, lagged here and there, but that was the movie was to tell her story. Uh, um, uh, it's good, and it really kind of like felt like since it was back in the early 1900s, kind of felt like an older movie. 
Yeah. With the music and everything. Uh, the sets were amazing. I, I thought they shot this right after X. They're supposed to. Well, I don't know where they got all these sets and all these people during this pandemic that when they shot, uh, I thought it was cool they tied in the influenza because 1918, that's when the Spanish flu was here. So they all wore masks in like in the town when they had the majority of people around. Yeah. So that was a good way to do it safely at that height of the pandemic. I thought that was cool. You know, you had a reason why they're wearing masks. You know what I'm saying? Did they have like? Did it look like an older mask? Or, yeah, uh, yeah, they were thick, thicker cotton. You know, that's cool. That's, yeah, that's, I, I just thought it was. I thought it was neat that they, so they, they were, were able to get around. So they based it around the time of the, the, the already, Spanish flu. Yeah, that's cool. and plus she was supposed to be older. Pearl was supposed to be older in the seventies. So in nineteen eighteen, she was young, and she was living on the farm. And that farmhouse, whoever owns that property. Like, if it's real, that it's fucking amazing. Like, because they showed a little bit more, like, you know, because it's more daylight. I'm, which they did show it in X, but did just... show the alligator in this one again? Yes. I don't know how they get this electronic alligator, but it's fucking awesome. So, was it smaller than that? No. It, 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 it was good size. And it had babies. Or it had eggs, so I don't know if that was, like, trying to say, well... Was Pearl feeding this alligator? Yes. She would... Killer alert! She would kill animals and feed it. But they showed that in the trailer where she killed the goose. Like you know, they implied it. They didn't show it. They just showed her walking with the goose on the pitchforks. And uh, it's it's a good movie. Uh, It's not great. I wouldn't say it's great. What's Uh, better? X was a better movie. But I think that's because... There was no BGB in this one, right? No, uh, there was... I don't think there was any nudity. Uh, there was only like one sex scene and she wrote a scarecrow, which is weird. Um, Who? Uh, Pearl? Pearl, yeah. Uh, Where was her... Uh, her husband is war. Okay. World War I. Um, it's a good movie. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, I'm glad I got to go watch it in a theater. Uh, I was happy about that because they didn't show X at the local theater, but yet the success of that and the hype around that, I guess they decided, well, we'll show Pearl. Not make some money. Yeah, there was only three other people in the theater, but it was at 135 when the showing was. But they have announced Maxine. Yeah, Maxine is coming. Uh, and if you watch the teaser trailer, it's got three X's, so that yeah. means, I'm, I guess that's because there's three movies. And well, porn. based around porn, too. Yeah, sexuality. Uh, and the thing about Pearl, uh, it's like, she's like Maxine. And that's and it, and it really ties it in on the X. Because Pearl wanted to be a star, too. Yeah. Just like Maxine. And that's why Pearl related to Maxine when they were talking. Uh, it's very interesting. I like the tie-ins. I thought it was good. Um, so, there's that. Uh and speaking of what's really good, uh, oh, I still need to talk about my weekends. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, yeah. That's what's speaking of really good. Now, um, yeah, speaking of really good, Jim Jim had a really good weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, Friday uh, was pretty cool. My daughter got to play in the high school band. She's in the middle school, so that was pretty. Cool. Did she play? She played the clarinet. No, no, no. She don't do that no more. She's a percussionist now. But in this one, she played uh, Mariachi. Maracas? Maracas. So uh, she got to play the Maracas on the field at one time. So that was pretty Something cool. Something that nobody hears. So she, she yeah. She was pretty, well, she's pretty excited about that. I'm just kidding. Yeah. That's how it was. Coffee oh, County was fucking pretty damn good this year. Oh, they, uh, team, they won. They yeah. won both uh, weekends so far. That's good. So I think I'm gonna uh, take the kids next Friday night and see if uh, we don't ruin that. <laughs> no, that, it might be a one and done for me. I might get everyone. I, oh, I went here. to Coffee County High School, and uh, I just I'm not that big of a spirit person. But, but, I didn't attend the football games when I was in high school. The thing so is, I'm not a football person, but some of them fucking high school games can be very exciting. 
Well, yeah, because a lot of the kids suck, and the ones that are really good really highlight how good they are. Oh, okay. so that's I mean, that's, that's my like opinion, that's but like I don't like That's like a semi-hot chick gets with a really, really ugly girl, and it makes her look more hot. Yeah. Or well, it makes the hot chick look even hotter because the one. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah, that was Friday night. But Saturday. Uh, but there are good games. I agree. There's a lot of scoring. So. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Swing. You get that reference? Yes. <laughs> but uh, so Friday or Saturday, uh, got a little late start, but I went to Halloween Hollow. They had their. Uh, I had to. I got to go help a little more. That thing, it looks totally different up there now. Coming together, they still got a lot to go in the next three weeks, but it's going to be amazing. But did orientation? There was they already have over forty employees. That's good. And I got paid last night to be there. Wow. They paid for orientation, thirteen dollars an hour. That's man, that's, that's pretty, pretty good for them uh, acting. Uh, that's better pay than a fucking uh, gas station, gas station or fast food, pretty much. But uh, their goal, hopefully. Uh, they're gonna have eventually gonna have some full time people year round. They're gonna be getting paid to work there, but that comes with time because you yes. gotta build up. Yes. And I hope I hope that, I hope they get there. I mean, really, because that'll mean that they're successful. That mean that the haunt in the area will grow. You know what I'm saying? And then it'll grow, and you'll have people there that can maintain it. And it'll yeah. make it easier on uh Carol. Yeah. I mean, it'll help Carol because you know he's putting a lot of work in that motherfucker. Which there's, he's going to be. There's a lot of days there he's by himself. Yeah, so I mean. And he's, he's actually built some of these things that he put stuff up on top of stuff. Yeah, he's an amazing head. builder. Like, Jesus, I don't know how, like, his mind and just how he's he's he, crafted. He's and a he craftsman. told me that he hates building. Well, I imagine. He's done it for so long, it's understandable. Yeah. I think once he gets established and gets the money rolling in, he can pay people to come out and help him. And that drives more people to... It, well, it would suck to build by yourself. I would hate building, too, if you know you didn't have someone there that's alongside you yeah, to push you and to help. Yeah, it would suck. There was, he had a, but uh, he's a hard-working motherfucker. Oh, fuck yeah. There was a guy there uh, who was telling us a story a couple weekends ago, and they got the you know those cable rolls that they put the electric lines on, the big wooden rolls? Yeah. yeah. Well, Spool. they got spools, yeah. They got a bunch of those, and on one side, they got pumpkins painted on them. Yeah. And he was placed them out in the field, but it was on a hill. Oh, God. And it broke loose. And Carol didn't want it to go into the pond. So he grabbed a hold of it Hearts. while it was rolling. And it cut the shit out of his hand. And apparently it flung him around. Yep. But he prevented it from going in the pond, though. But he was he said he was down like a... <laughs> you know, doing that. Oh, it's coming at him? Yes. He wasn't going to move because if he moved, it was going to go into the pond. And he would have lost that spool. He should have had gloves on. Uh, I don't think he should have taken his shirt off within this five seconds. <laughs> Carol, thank you, Carol. Thinking, man. No, but uh, take your yeah. shoes off, put your socks around your hands. Fuck, Carol. <laughs> he had sandals on. What am I talking about? That motherfucker didn't wear no shoes and socks. Either, uh, either uh, flip flops or yeah. uh, or uh, Crocs or something. No, well, he might have them, but either that or uh, Chuck Taylor. They were so uncomfortable. They look so uncomfortable. I don't understand how people wear them. But yeah, well, that motherfucker builds them. Yeah, I mean, they each their own. They got a camper out there now that's like the office. But he said, I took, I took many naps in there. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, if you're out there, yeah. But he's, it's, it's his baby. He's, he's, he's but it's got a lot of his... Over the years of what he's been doing, he's established a huge network. So he's got a friend that uh, has a lake house five minutes down the road. So he he stays there all the time. So he goes down there. That's where he sleeps, showers, and all that, and uh, comes back up and uh, builds on the haunt. He pretty much lives at that haunt right now, which he has to. And they're they're going to continue to be building as the haunt season goes on, because you got the days of the weekends and then all week yep. that you can you know spruce things up a little more. Because hey, I've I've, I've seen that. Haunting ain't easy at all. Because mm. you got to constantly stay on top of stuff because once you have all those people come through, they're bound to fuck shit up. You're going to have them, them done. Yeah, and, and then you're always looking to like improve a set or change it up a little bit so if somebody comes through twice, something might be different. 
Yeah. I mean, because no. Hans have been known to change mid-season, like something move. Yeah. But uh, I mean, that's cool. Uh, what what nights are you going to be there? It's looking like the way I'm feeling about it, I'm gonna try to be there every night. That there, I can't do Sunday nights because they are gonna be open Sunday nights. I can't do Sunday nights. But uh, Friday and Saturday. So, uh, so we're not doing hot season this year. But I say that now. I you know just depends on where we want to go and stuff. Like, um, there might be not every night I'll get to go, but uh, I might do a Friday. Slash... What? No hots this year. Remember? That's, that's just what I'm, I'm saying. Just kidding. I'm just but, kidding, dude. No, no. I mean, really, you signed up to be with them. No. Technically, you should be there. I mean, granted, you, you might not be there the weekend of Halloween. Oh no, I'm not. There's no because way. you got to build your own haunt here, which yeah. they would under. So you're only, that's only three weekends. Yeah. All right, and that's only six nights. Well, I say only, but it's six long ass. <laughs> There's call times at six o'clock. And then, then it's then it's an hour and a half hour, away, ain't it? Hour and ten minutes. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was like an hour and a half, so. That's not bad. Meryl, you sad too? And he's like, I'm not sad. Then y'all be it here. I like buddy. But yeah, uh, so Silver Point, right? Silver Point, Tennessee. Silver uh, Point, Tennessee. Point off the interstate. Literally, you get off the interstate and turn down the road. And like, uh, right past, you'll go past the gas station and a restaurant. And right around the first curve to the right. is uh, They'll have signage up and all that, I'm sure. So it's really easy to get to. Oh, yeah. And you won't be able to miss it because I'm sure he's gonna have. I think he's gonna have like flames shooting out of the top of the pumpkin. You haven't got to be out there. Go out there, yeah. No. Well, it's too hot. Guess what? It's too far. Family friend, family and friends night is coming up. So sounds really hot. It's not really that hot. Sounds horrible. Good going. So I, uh, I get, I get, I get. I was invited to a cookout. I didn't go to that either. Yeah, he'll be there. No, I will be there, I guess. I mean, I'll probably have to drive myself. Well, oh, yeah, because we're going to probably be staying. Yeah, I'm not staying till midnight to 1 o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's true, because I'll be working. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> know. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, but um, maybe I can bring uh, my friend. Uh, what night is it? September 30th. Oh, that's, no, I won't be over here. Yeah, I will. Yes, I will. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, I have a fresh new tattoo. Well, it won't be fresh by the end. It'll be seven days old. Yeah. Oh, six days old. That's a Saturday. Seven, eight days old. I'm getting it this Thursday. So this, so this is the twenty second. So. There will not be no reviews from any of us going. Well, I think family and friends, you can't really review. No, no, it's more of a dress rehearsal. Yes, to get y'all ready. September 30th is not I mean, open to the here. public because uh, we're talking about this on here. We're just really discussing it. Which I probably could edit this out. but uh, Well, it's family and friends night. What? I mean. But October 1st is the official night. It's open. Uh, so um, I will be. October 1st? Yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there October 1st. And then uh, just depending on what's going on. Oh, wait. So that's a Friday the 30th. Yeah. So okay, yeah, yeah, because they're not going to be open any day before October. No, they're they're like nope, it's October only. They're not extended to uh, November, none of that. They might do that next year, but seeing the that they were, year, they're they're still building as we speak. He's there right now yeah. building. I mean, well, first and and my thing like with any haunted house, the first year is a growing year. The first couple are probably growing years. Um, Cause I mean you've seen like the first years, some of them aren't the best, but they improve, and that's the whole goal of haunted houses. But Carol's been doing this so long that it'll probably be awesome. Damn, what, he told me what, how long he's been doing it, but he said um, it there, but I can't remember. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna pull up, tell you the website. You can follow them on social media, but they're on Halloween Hollow Haunt on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, the, the website is. I don't even know. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, HalloweenHollowHaunt.com, and you can go. And you need to go on there and take your uh, faction quiz to see what faction you're of, you're uh, a part of. So they have. There's the Dark Raven is one of the haunts. Then there's. Uh, 
that said I was pulled up, but we find it. Dark Raven, uh, Big Top Meats, and uh, Video Slashback is the hunt. The three main hunts. There will be, uh, they've got Laser Tag, it's, I think it's Anarchy Laser Tag. I got a pumpkin patch, but you will have to buy your pumpkin, of course. And then they're uh, got a corn maze. And the corn maze... Not so scary corn maze. Yeah, they're they're not... Uh, and they're not. So, yeah, that's a not-town corn maze. Is that going to be open during Family and Friends? Yeah. Oh, my friend really wants to go to a corn maze. Oh, oh. there you go. My friend will be happy. My friend. Yeah. Ashton got that shit started. <laughs> No, she'll she'll enjoy that. Uh, live entertainment. Yeah, they're gonna have the uh, MMA Mystery of Mayhem Spectacular. The uh, the armored uh, uh, the armored. What's it called? Hold on. Um, natural, natural armored, armored combat. combat. So yeah. it's like a medieval MMA. They legit hit each other with these swords and stuff. So, uh, wow. that'll be beer bar. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of photo opportunities in the pumpkin patch, live entertainment. I, I, I mean, like, we're. I'm currently trying to get Chuck. He's supposed to be trying to get a, a ring, and uh, there might be some wrestling out there. So, that'd be pretty cool. Can you imagine Michael Myers and Jason kind of doing a wrestling match? That'd be wild. Uh, it's 14400. One four four zero zero Old Baxter Road, Silver Point, Tennessee, three eight five eight two. Right off, like I said, right off the interstate. So, if you're coming from Nashville, you'll get off before you get to Cookville. Short drive from Nashville, and just miles from Cookville. Yep. I mean, an hour and ten minutes from Manchester, or an hour south of Nashville. I mean, I uh, it, it's got a good pool for an hour drive. I mean, the radius, you know what I'm saying? Yes. In a 60-mile radius, there's major... I think it's maybe 30 minutes or less from Smithville. So you got Smithville. Yeah. You got uh, Cookville. Crossville. Then, yeah, oh okay. yeah. I mean, even Knoxville wouldn't be that far of a drive. Probably an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Yeah, because you hit 840. I mean, really, like, it's super they're, easy to get they're there. They're really in a good location. Yeah, and, and that's why they put it there, because... There was no haunted houses in that vicinity with that amount of people, yeah. which is wild. Which, I mean, you got to think, it's a lot of money and a lot of investment and a lot of time. Like Carol's doing this, it's a lot of time to and, and desire to get a haunted house going. That shows the amount of passion this guy. Yes. I'm not, I don't want to just no, say... And he, not just he him. In, the, in his whole team. Yeah, Brad exactly. Loftus, his, uh, air exactly. Thing. You're right. That's what I was thinking. I was like, it's not just Carol. It's just a desire from a team oh, yeah. of people, a group of people to have this desire to, to get it done. It's amazing. Yeah, then, the, you know, I just want to mention a few. Uh, you got Lynn. She uh, is doing costumes and makeup. Uh, Brittany uh, is doing makeup at uh, costumes. Sorry, then we got Jamie and Phil. Which Phil we've had on the podcast, he's one of the members of the Tennessee Ghostbusters. Okay, and That's Jamie is just all all around haunt lover and she's a cat woman. Cat. That's cool. Uh -huh. She has an amazing cat mask. Oh, yeah, I've seen that mask. But she'll be walking around there, I'm sure, as a cat sometime. Anyways, uh, yeah, there's a ton more people that help do that haunt too. Uh, and, I can't think of names offhand. But yeah, so I'll cover first. Halloween Super Point, Hollow. Halloween Hollow. And you know who else puts in a good load of effort? And what they do? Who's that? Uh, the Holler Kings. Yep, that um, is true. That that's what I hear. I'm Craig, and I'm Adam, and we're the Holler Kings. Off the charts crazy, and, and then put some fucking dongs in the movie. Almost like a slasher villain or something. Y'all come back now, you hear? Oh, <laughs> playing into those stereotypes. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for listening.
Yes, the Holler Kings, uh, their latest episode with uh, Dr. Gangrene, a.k.a. A- Larry Underwood, uh, joins Adam and Craig to discuss 1977's Ritual. Rituals. Rituals. And yep. if you don't know who Dr. Gangrene is, go on YouTube, look him up. He's like a, an old school horror host out of Nashville. He used to do it on, was it Public Access? Yeah. Yeah. Public Access. He, he's a super nice guy. Like, I mean, a very nice guy. But we've met him uh, at a com- some conventions. And he's, Full Moon. Full Moon Tattoo and Horror Festival. He was actually there selling some VHS on it. Yeah. He's just a super nice guy, and he was in uh, Deadlines. Yes, you're right. He's I think he's in other movies. Yeah, he's he played, and I think he might be in uh, the newest George Demick movie. All uh, it all ends. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, make sure you go check them out. Uh, streaming everywhere. George, uh, by the way, you can watch Deadlines uh, on. Uh, Barnabas and Collins is in that movie. Yeah, well, well Toby. It's on Toby. With yeah. ad-free. I think he said it's even ad-free. So uh, The full movie ad-free. I think that's what he said. The Big Ball Buddies play Barnabas and Collins. Uh, I think it was on Prime, too. It might be. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. Well, yeah, I want to, again, real quick, say thanks to George. For yes, thank you so much. Uh, he is actually, I want to announce this that uh, on here. He is actually wrestling his last match. Yeah, I seen that. And him and uh, Robert Cox. Uh, yeah, I can't remember their names. I know George is. I can't remember, but uh, they're you can pull it up. Yeah, I'll just keep going. But uh, George and Robert were former wrestlers, which I know. I know that George is a big wrestling fan, so uh, it's pretty cool that uh, um, that they're gonna be. Doing a match, I'm kind of curious because you know how that'll go. But I'm gonna try my damnedest to be there because I would love to you know, support George. You got the, you got the name of their names. No, just keep going. But um, that's not on his. I wish we had before. Keep going. Uh, uh, but yeah, so uh, George, uh, like I said, if you don't know, he's the director, writer. And, the uh, Long Halloween. Yeah, there you go. Uh, son of a gun. That had the names of it right there. No, that didn't have the names. That was... Robert the Trash Man Cox. Yeah. Versus George Gunn. Saturday, November 12th, 2022. Redcon 1 Gym. 5035 Harding Place, Nashville, Tennessee. 8 p.m. CC Wrestling. Yeah, they do. They, I've no, they've done some stuff for them. I think they work with them. So uh, I, I want to try. I don't know, Johnny. Try and go. Oh, we could try. November twelfth, pretty good little ways out. So we should be able to uh, hopefully make it work and get to go some more stuff. Check out George and Robert uh, throw down. And I hope they're in the gym because you got to knock off that ring rust as much as possible. <laughs> That is. Uh, Could you imagine taking a bump and not having? You couldn't imagine taking a bump. No, me personally, right now, no, like never you... having taken. Like they've taken them. Yeah. Understandable. Like they kind of understand what it feels like. But you got to make sure you got to have that neck strong because you got to keep your neck ahead from slapping the mat. Coastal Championship Wrestling. Yeah, that's what they're called. That's I was trying to find that out. Sorry. But yeah, so that's coming up November twelfth. Doors open at 7. And it's on Friday night? Uh, I believe so. I was trying to... Um, I was I was trying to see... It. Front row is $25. General mission is 20 VIP is 35 VIP front row is 40 Dude, we're going to get some VIP front row tickets? Got to. I don't know what that... I don't know what that entails. Oh, I don't know what it means. Uh, 40 bucks. I mean, and... and them people are probably like they're probably going to put on a great show. I mean, I imagine like look at this dude, he is in shape. Oh yeah, goodness gracious, like these guys. I mean, the last territory returns with a vengeance, an action-packed night in Music City. Amazing fun for the entire family. Be there for Chase Stevens, Beast Man, Vinicius, 
Vinicius, Ariel Levy, The Factories, Luke Sanson, Toby Farley, and a whole lot more. Yeah, I, I, we, we, we could make that happen. We should try. Uh, November 12th is on a Saturday. Oh, that's even hurt. That's even better. So, yeah, well, definitely. I've got it on my calendar, so, um, I'm gonna keep, I'm sure they'll keep advertising for it, so it'll remind me in a couple of weeks, probably, we'll just go ahead and buy our tickets if we can, can we get them online? Yeah, you can buy your tickets online at Coastal Championship Wrestling FL.com. So, uh, I mean, that's I've never I've never been to Nashville to watch wrestling. Well, no, we went to Bridgestone, but I've never been anywhere else in Nashville. So I don't know what Redcon One Gen is. If you know what it is, let me know. Like I'm I'm curious. I mean, I could probably look it up here with the internet. Duh. What? Well, that's just stupid. Up. Redcon One Gen. Like I don't know what that is. This a uh, Redcon One, I think, is a uh, gaming stuff, ain't it? I have no clue. Or. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of Redcon, but I don't know. It might be some fitness stuff or something. But... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but uh... that's cool. And you know what else is cool? Uh, on teenhorror.com. Yeah. Psycho Gorman Blu ray with action figure. Raven Banner. Uh, this is on the website. Uh, it's happy to announce that our PG Psycho Gorman Blu ray. With action figures is now on sale at Raven Banner store. Fifteen hundred of these will only be made or available for sale. Um, and and I mean, it comes with a uh, splatter with real human blood. I mean, the blood may or may not be human, but uh, it's whether or not you believe that it's human blood. Because as we know, whatever you believe is real, and if you put it on your Instagram, it's definitely real. You have it on your social media uh, profile, then it's real. So if you want to say you're an astronaut, as long as it's listed on your social media profile, then people have to take you at your word. So right, is that yeah. how it goes? Uh oh yeah, cool as well. Um, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, scroll down a little bit. They can see that a little bit. No, no, no. I mean, uh, like yeah. Whoa, whoa. Uh, Battle Va Ravage variant. I mean, that's a pretty cool box. You know, I haven't watched Psycho Gorman. I wanted to, and I forgot all about it when it came out. I heard it was really, really good. Jim Jam watched it. He said it's a fun movie, and it's a fun movie for kids. Oh yeah. So it'll be a great introduction to horror with this movie, because as you see right here on the cover, motherfucker, it's like an alien type character with a fucking cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. It kind of reminds me of uh, Little Monsters. Just, you know, with the kids yeah. and a monster. But, yeah. I mean, not the movie itself. Just, the, like, you see the kids. Yeah. And they got a monster. So, I just think of kids' horror movies. Or uh, Little Monsters wasn't a horror movie. But it was, like, kind of creepy. You know, because they had monsters. Oh, yeah, it definitely was. And it's funny that, um, uh, how creepy it was. But then when you watch it uh, as you're older... It's not creepy at all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, exclusive Easter eggs, BioCop, commercials, maybe, maybe those, and more. So, I mean, they're even trying to be funny in this ad, the article of uh, what they're including. Um, the figure measures 11 centimeters in height with fully movable arms, legs, and head. So, I mean, if you're into collecting action figures and just collectibles, and it's available... Um, it says for fifty nine ninety nine, but they have it on sale right now at Raven Banner Store for forty nine ninety nine. So fifty bucks for an exclusive copy of Psycho Gorman. Oh, yeah. With action figure. So I mean that's pretty awesome. Yeah, um I'm um hoping to get a copy soon so we can review the action figure and stuff and yeah, just all around it's a it's a really good movie. And it's region free. Awesome. It ships worldwide, so that is amazing. I, the the locking of certain Blu-rays and DVDs is bullcrap. You know what I'm saying? It comes from the governments around, and it's bullshit. For a while that does, they do that stupid shit. I I read a reason why, and I can't remember. I can't honestly like give a 
legit reason, like my memory. It's just, it's crap, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta buy different DVD players to play. That's so bullshit. Um, yeah, that definitely. Ugh. But, um. You know what's not bullshit? Uh. Will Debbie Snack Cakes? No, not at all. And you know who else isn't bullshit? Uh, the Pumpkin Spice Daddies. Who's that? These guys right here. Um, we this is the Little Debbie Pumpkin Spice like Swiss roll, I guess. Yeah. Um, I've never had it. Jim Jam hasn't had anything Pumpkin Spice. So I'm not a basic bitch. Um, so we're gonna become the Pumpkin Spice Daddies. Oh wow! Yeah, the Spice Daddies instead of the Spice Girls or the Spice Daddy, but Pumpkin Spice, not not hot stuff. No, we're. we're the spice bitches on the hospital. Oh, you're the sexual daddy, and I'm the actual daddy because I have kids. You don't have kids. <sighs> That's so. so weird. <laughs> hey, why did you make this so awkward? That's what we do. Um, this is not working out. You should have broke it in front of the camera, like, oh, like, I don't know. It's messy. Um, so, a lot of it stuck. Um, so is pumpkin spice like cinnamon? Mm. Yeah. Mm, that's good. Wow. Wow. That that they did not lie on the pumpkin spice. Um, that's really good. Nutmeg. Is that what that is? Yeah. You don't eat pumpkin pie? No. Oh, you're missing out. Um, pumpkin. Pie Swiss roll is delicious. Holy crap! Is that what it's called? I think so. I don't know. What do you mean? It's a little Debbie. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring the box because you know big box. Um, wow, well, this is good. But my first time trying pumpkin spice anything, so it's almost like carrot cake. Does you carrot know? cake taste like? I never had it. Yeah, that's pretty much tastes like carrot cake. It just sounds like. I mean, really, kind of. I don't know if I want to eat carrot flavored sweets. It's not carrot flavor. Why the fuck they call it carrot cake? It might have carrot in it. Mm. Color. I don't know. Pumpkin hey, pie Swiss roll. I actually approved of this. That was pretty yeah, funny. I can't believe he approves. Good lord, y'all. I'm a basic bitch now. Yeah, the, the, the pumpkin spice daddies are here to stay. Right. That is right. Uh, your first encounter with the pumpkin spice daddies. You got that. Sorry, the end of that. Where I'm teasing real big. I, I laughed at um, the pumpkin spice. Have y'all ever had uh, the uh, pumpkin spice Swiss rolls? I think, I don't know if they're called Swiss rolls or just rolls. I didn't bring the box with me. Uh, but I didn't bring this here. And just so in the future, if you're seeing this, they might be out. I do have the pumpkin delights cookies ice cream from Little Debbie. You know, the little pumpkin shaped. And they got the little jelly eyes in the mouth. Yeah. I they have, made an ice cream? They have an ice cream. Found it at Walmart last night. Uh, and I haven't been seeing. They release stuff. Little Debbie's releasing ice cream. And not saying And anything. not really saying anything. Because like, I got the one. I can't remember what flavor it was. That's the one. That I, they didn't, I've never heard about it. And I was like, oh shit. Which one? Have we tried this? It wasn't Star Crunch, was it? No, it was. I can't remember, but uh, they're they're releasing stuff, and it's not really been. So you have to just go into Walmart and just so it's happen like, to see it. It's like word of mouth. They're wanting to do it by word of mouth. It's just fine. I mean, that, really, the the internet is where you're. You know, TikTok and uh, oh yeah, they see all reels and and all that is giving them and stuff. So yeah, I mean. And Little it's somebody. Come on, y'all. So I got the snack cake and I have the ice cream, and I'm going to compare them. Uh, and they're they're called pumpkin delight cookies. The snack cake is, and I just realized that last night. Johnny, we're making an official request of uh, Little Debbie. We need a big ball buddy ice cream. What would that be? I don't like chocolate. So we couldn't do chocolate. And what, what snack cake do they have? 
that they can make into an ice cream that we would both really enjoy. Strawberry shortcake. They already have. They got the, the roll. We can do our own. I already got it. So they've already done it. We can take. You know, no, we would have to get uh, the Van Lee one or the 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 one uh, weird ice cream. Mac and cheese and pizza. The, they got a top of Tio hot chocolate ice cream. What's top of Tio? It's hot sauce. Fuck that. Well, it's the uh, Mexican hot sauce. It's just like the, it's just like Louisiana, but Mexican flavors. Tastes like shit. I like hot sauce. Ugh. God, I just Why ate it. You have to put hot sauce on fucking ice cream. Well, it's hot chocolate. Literally. It's well, I'm saying, but like icy they, chocolate. It yeah, like some of them like they have hot chocolate, and they'll put like a little sprinkle of. I guess they do have spicy little candies that like are like spicy chocolate. Or some craziness. <laughs> I had uh, Johnny messaged me one day and was like, "You want to try the one uh, chip challenge?" Like, no, I did not. You said you said something. You messaged me. No, I would never. Like try to talk you into it because you might actually fucking like. Okay. No, I wouldn't. You let you you said years ago. Said we, years ago, if we get to ten thousand followers, we'll do the one chip challenge. No, we won't. Because we we we're not gonna get there anytime soon. We will not on it's YouTube. Fun. It was on YouTube. Yeah. Not not TikTok. YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say that on TikTok. I wouldn't do it. And I just seen it. I just seen a way to to because it's not the mouth burn that's gonna fuck you up. It's the after. It's the stomach, this gut bomb. And I just seen a video where a dude was talking about it. And he goes, "Uh, if you want to stop the gut bomb, you have to eat as much food as possible before you do a spicy challenge." He said that he tries to go, and this is a spice guy. Like he makes his own hot sauce. He eats. He can sit there and eat ghost pepper with hot Cheetos, flaming hot Cheetos, and be be okay with it. No big deal. So what does he do? He says that he'll take and try to eat a whole large uh, like pepperoni pizza or cheese pizza, whatever, the whole thing. Because what you want to do is you want to layer your stomach because you don't want that hot capsaicin, they call it capsaicin something, to hit your stomach and it's just gonna inflame your stomach and you will get severe cramps I've seen people fetal position get sick because you eat it on an empty stomach oh. and then, so you try to pack that carbs and cheese and dairy so that when it hits there, it's laying on top of something and then you try to eat something else after it so that it sandwiches it. So it might not even fucking burn and come out. Yeah, like, because you're, it probably it might. I don't know, it, but it sandwiches it so that when it's getting digested, it's mixed up with other stuff and it's not hitting your stomach that hard. Hmm. And I was like, damn, that's a good idea. You know what I didn't do Friday? None of that. Uh, <laughs> I was at work. No, no, no. This was yesterday at work. Uh, there's this guy, he makes beef jerky and stuff. Well, he makes sushi, apparently. And I was in a, some area getting material. And he was like, hey, man. Uh, do you want a piece of sushi? And I like sushi. And, you know. And, yeah, I'm totally weird, I know, in a factory, somebody selling sushi. Oh, I, I get it. <laughs> I don't sound appealing. But this guy, he makes all kinds of stuff. So, uh, and, and he didn't make it. He bought it from the guy that makes the stuff. I said yeah sure. Her he's like it's it's hot, and I went over there and I opened the box and it was super hot. I could smell it because it had ghost pepper hot sauce on it, and I was like I don't know man, it smells really hot. And I was like I haven't eaten anything like super hot since Apollo. The last day. <laughs> yeah. And uh, wasn't nowhere near that hot. I will say that the little bitty piece of Apollo that I ate. Was so much hotter yeah. than this ghost pepper sauce, and I ate the whole piece of sushi. And I said, uh, "Johnny, uh, that's his name, Johnny. Uh, that is not good. <laughs> that is not good because all it was was just straight hot sauce flavor." Yeah. And uh, 
instantly the endorphins kicked in. Yeah. Uh, I got a little lightheaded and a little, little high because that's what will happen when you eat something super duper hot. You'll get a little. And I had to drive my fort lift back over there to where I go and take a break. Cause, yeah. Well, I was already going to break after that anyway. So, yeah. so fortunately, uh, I got to eat something right did on top he, of it. Did and, he not tell you it was hot? Oh, yeah. He said it's super hot. Well, he said it's hot. And then when I went back over there, he goes, man, the last set of sushi I had was not that hot. He's like, man, that, that's too hot. He's like, he went way too heavy handed on the ghost pepper. He said before, it was a hot that was enjoyable. That was not enjoyable. Not I said, I said, Johnny. I don't think any hot's enjoyable. I like it. Was uh, it Johnny the? Yes. Okay. And, uh, you know, Jim Jam worked where I did. So, uh, but where I do. But uh, he's like, I was like, yeah, man, I didn't understand how you could eat all that and not just room in your stomach yeah he's like i have one piece and it, it, there's just no way like one piece was enough yeah i've had my spice in uh, and i'll wait a, a long time before i eat anymore speaking of the one two challenge you see jim john show me where they make it turns your tongue blue so you can't fake that you're not doing it yeah so yeah and uh well we should have done this earlier Going back, uh, this is a horrible segue, uh, but that's okay because y- you know what else is spicy? Not this. Nope. No, you won't get no spice here. And Nightwalker ghost. How the spell witches is what we fear most. You may think they scare me, you're probably right. Black cats and goblins on Halloween night. Trick or treat. <laughs> Happy Halloween, boils and ghouls. Tonight is the night we find out what Halloween Hollow is all about. <laughs> Halloween Hollow is Halloween fun for everyone. With three scare houses, pumpkin patch, live entertainment, beer garden, corn maze, and much, much more. Halloween Hollow opens October 2022. You scream. We scream. We all scream for Halloween. Visit HalloweenHollowHaunt.com for more details. Hey, uh, so Halloween Hollow, once again, well, it, it wasn't our intention to talk about it so much earlier. Yeah. It just happened. Oh, yeah. And so we had this set up differently. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. Uh, here's something fun. Speaking of Halloween Hollow, here's something else that's fun. Uh, the Strangers remake um, has started production at Lionsgate. If you remember uh, The Strangers from 2008, and then they had a sequel 10 years later, Pray at Night. Did I watch the sequel? Oh, Liv Tyler was in The Strangers. And The Strangers was uh, a really good movie. I guess these are some of the people that's going to be in the new one, maybe? Uh, looks that way. thought that was Bella Thorne at first. She's pretty. Nothing against her. Huh. Yeah, she's very pretty. Her name is Madeline Petch, I guess Petch. Yeah. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Um, following Madeline Petch's character as she road trips cross country with her longtime boyfriend to begin a new life, as they make the trek towards the Pacific Northwest, their car breaks down in Venus, Oregon, trapped in Venus for the night. Couple checks into a secluded Airbnb. This is where the couple encounters three masked strangers that terrorize them from dusk till dawn. So Airbnbs are going to be do what? Dusk till dawn. That's a yeah, that, that was a good movie. Um, so Airbnbs are going to be like. Looks like that's the way a lot of the a lot of movies are going. Um, the uh, 
No movie Barbarian, which didn't come to my local theater, and I'm super disappointed. Do better. Eagle. Do better. I'm I'm happy that you brought um Pearl, but Regal Telehoma, I need all your horror movies, please, ma'am and sirs and peoples. Okay. They's huh. and them's. Yeah, they's and them's and he's and she's and and all that. I need it. I need yeah. all your horror movies in Telehoma. Fucking, we're inclusive to everybody. Yes, so Regal should be inclusive to all horror movies in Tallahoma, Tennessee. Just like Instagram should bring back hashtag horror, horror, however you say it. I still use it. I don't care. Well, you, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, that was a couple years ago, Jimmy. We're not bringing back the past. Well, the past gets... Anyway, uh, so I, but I, I'm not sure if I've seen... The Prey at Night. I don't know if I've seen the 2018 one. Did you? Probably not. Yeah, I've seen all, I've seen all of them. Both of them. I should have. It, seems like I should have. Doesn't it have like, in a trailer part, I think? Or, I yeah. Know. Right? Yeah. yeah. I think, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Um, mm-hmm. let's, let's jump to the uh, Constantine while we're talking about sequels and, okay, and, yeah, and yeah. everything. That way it'll, it'll tie in. Did I pull that up? I didn't pull that up, Jim Jim. Oh, well, it's on here. You can read it from the... Uh... All right, so uh, the Constantine sequel is officially in works with Keanu Reeves returning. Uh, so Constantine was from 2005. Can you believe it's that long ago? So like, we're, This is going to be 20 years, guys. This is, this is pre-John Wick. Yes. So that means, are we going to get a little John Wick-esque Keanu Reeves, maybe? I hope not. <laughs> It'd be funny if he made some reference or something, like about his dog. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. This is like one of my favorite, my, most favorite movies. I got it on uh, Blu-ray or DVD one, but uh, I I don't know what it is about this movie, but I really really enjoy this movie. It's Shia LaBeouf was awesome in it. Yes, and I think that movie. You think he'll make a return? Because I mean, he didn't get killed or nothing. I mean. I think. If people don't blow it up as he's too uh, too hard to work with, like the new the new movie Olivia Wilde, I think kind of lied. So that Keanu's hard to work. No, with? No, no, Shia. Oh, okay. It's hard to work with, and like they had to cancel him from the sh- movie or something, and then he come out and laid it straight out. It was like uh, there were scheduling conflicts, and if she wants to say that to. Play up her movie, whatever, but that's not the truth. And mm. good for Shia because a lot of the controversies that you've heard have all been made up for the movie productions that he's been on. That's some bullshit, man. Cause and he like, has like, gotten like, stranger like, as you know, he's like got... some of it's true, but it's been exaggerated to where he looks like a bad person. Yeah, and he's he, he seems a little, you know. Wacky at times, and well, like that. but it's believable, and that's the problem. Ago, he did that where he watched all his movies, yeah, and, and he live streamed, streamed, and he live streamed his reaction. It's like what the, f- and I agree, he's it's he's a little odd sometimes, but he still seems like a good dude. He's a unique character, he, he, yeah, and uh, so Constantine two, uh, it's just in the works. I, they canceled. The, the 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 series now from HBO Max. Oh, it never even happened. They they had one on CW, a Constantine. Yeah, I watched it. I really enjoyed it. Well, they were going to bring it back on the HBO Max series produced by J.J. Abraham. Abraham, it's not moving forward. Um, he'll be producing Constantine two, which I think he's an executive producer. Um, J.J. Abrams. Yeah, and uh, they're saying that um, this will possibly set up DCEU's Justice League Dark. You can actually... Uh, so, does that mean that he is going to be in that instead? So, this is going to be a movie. Constantine 2 is going to... And I'm wondering if, since they want to do the movie, they're canceling the series. But see, here's the other thing. HBO Max and Disney just merged. Or Discovery, my bad. Discovery just merged, and Discovery's taking over HBO. It ain't. It's not HBO taking over 
So that person that's running that is wanting to trim stuff, and they are, at the detriment of HBO Max. They're going to raise the price of HBO Max. That's going to happen. Um, HBO Max is already $14.99 or $15.99. It was the highest costing uh, streaming service when it come out. Yeah. And uh, they don't care. The CEO come out and said, I do not care. We do not care about subscribers, about the amount of subscribers. What we care about is profitability. They want to be a billion dollars in the next year or two. What if? Well, how are they going to get there if they don't care about the subscribers? They don't care about the amount. Oh. The amount of subscribers. That's not their goal. It's not like Netflix. we got to have X amount of subscribers. No, they want to be profitable. That's their goal. Um, which is understandable, but also... What if everybody drops off? Then they're fucked. Well, if it goes like $20, I'm, I'm canceling it. I mean, it's already high, which you can get the ones with commercials. I'm... I just don't, I'm not watching commercials to pay to watch commercials. Yeah. Like, why am I paying to watch a commercial? You know what I'm saying? Like, I could get cable and pay and watch commercials. Yeah. It's like, I'm watching a fucking streaming service. Like, I shouldn't have to watch commercials, but I pay for no commercials. You know, and, uh, anyways. It's all the greed thing, huh? Yeah. And, and they put a lot of money so they've canceled that TV series, which kind of sucks. But you can watch the uh, Justice League Dark animated stuff on HBO Max. So you got Constantine in it? Yes. Okay. And they are good if you don't already watch them. And you know who else is good? No, not good. Great. Greggy Death. Greggy Death. Triple Threat. Greggy Death. Triple threat. I'm really pissed off this week. Pissed! Fuck! But first, let's get to a couple things that do not piss me off. Macabre. Murder Metal. This fucking masterpiece finally got a reissue. And, of course, it's phenomenal. Also, of course, it's on blood-splattered vinyl. Most of you probably know, Macabre is one of my all-time favorite bands um if you like your metal really fun and whimsical and all about serial killers because that's all they talk about is serial killers then you have to check out macabre um any of their albums but this one is an absolute classic it was just reissued so make sure you check it out another thing that doesn't piss me off but actually kind of pisses me off is bloodborne I didn't know that Bloodborne had graphic novels. Why didn't anyone fucking tell me that there was like a fucking comic book of fucking Bloodborne? So you're probably thinking, great, Bloodborne's fucking old. Why are we talking about Bloodborne? But check out this art, like everything. This, this fucking comic is incredible. Uh, this book here is like, I think, uh, parts one through three. It's really cool. And then uh, there's a couple more books that kind of complete whatever this story is. But I also found out there's even like Dark Souls comics and stuff. I had no fucking idea that this was a thing. But I will, of course, have to buy them all. So uh, definitely worth checking out. Like I said, all the artwork and everything's really cool. It sticks super close to the story of the, the game. Well, I mean, kind of just about it. Right, it does definitely take on its own story. Um, but overall, just a, a really cool book. Now we're gonna talk about why I'm pissed. You're not helping, go away. I love you. So, I was really looking forward to talking about a video game uh, this week because two huge things happened there was a nintendo direct and then sony also did their state of play after watching both of those i can tell you i don't have fuck all to talk about they didn't announce anything really fucking cool or anything that we didn't already know was fucking coming out tekken 8 on the ps5 sure 
gonna be fucking cool. Whatever. Heckin. Nintendo just completely fucking dropped the ball, as always. They didn't show a fucking Mario trailer, and they didn't talk about fucking Metroid. There was no Metroid shit. What they gave us was a 10 second bullshit fucking trailer for the new Zelda called Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, it's got a fucking name now, it's got a release date. I don't fucking care, right? Like, maybe I'll care a month before it fucking comes out. But right now, I don't care. There's other things I'm more excited about. The one cool thing Nintendo did announce was that if you have the online Nintendo 64 deal, that at some point, GoldenEye is coming, and it will have online support, which is actually pretty fucking cool, because I can't wait to do some, uh, you know, four-player fucking deathmatch shit. What's funny about that, though, Xbox thought they would be sly and on the same day announced that they were doing a GoldenEye reboot or some shit. Of course, people found out that it will not have online support and have promptly shit all over it. As well they should. So that's really about it. That fucking sticks out. There was a, let's see, Pikmin 4. Uh, uh, you know, here, look, there's games that have super devout followings like like to the point of insanity and i'm one of those people when it comes to the souls games and bloodborne we all know there's some type of bloodborne announcement coming why not just fucking announce it at the state of play right just give me something give me something to fucking hold on to anyway what the fuck ever so that's it if you want to check those out they're on fucking youtube and maybe you're hyped for a bunch of fucking Japanese RPGs and shit, but whatever, you know, not really my thing. So next week, I promise though, I'll have something cool to show you guys and talk about. Um, and I'll try not to be so grumpy. Greg, oh, Greg, grumpy Greg this week. Uh, yeah. I'll say this. I watched the uh, State of Play also this week. Very disappointed as he was. Uh, it just it didn't appeal to me. They had a little VR news, which was nothing. Uh, I heard PS5 VR. Yeah, the VR two. Uh, heard that uh, none of the VR one games will be compatible with the VR two. So everything that you bought when you upgrade will be. You better just keep your old headset. But you're not going to want to because they got new controllers. They got the headsets all new. It's haptic feedback. like So you're not going to want to, unless you're just the person, I'm not, that that enjoys going back and playing old consoles. If I had an old TV, I'd probably be okay with it. But you're not going to want to go backwards in time for technology. I don't like it. Uh, so that sucks. Um, uh, and, and I agree with you. My kids uh, fuck their PS. Uh, there's a the like VR up. The wire's got a short in it now. It goes to the headset. Does the wire not unplug in the headset? No. That's so, fucking pretty bad. So, yeah. I went, well, I mean, after time, though, they've had it for what, four, five, five years. We got it right around the time it come out, maybe a year later. But yeah, it, so, I mean, <clears throat> you're you're moving your head. You're You're going to accidentally step on it. PlayStation should have fucking put a like a connecting one, a wire. breakaway. Yeah, but so you can buy a new wire if you needed to. But now, if we want it, we have to take it somewhere, and they'll have to actually solder a new wire in. But not doing that. I mean, you could probably look it up online and and find a fix. If not, I might, I might just fucking throw it on eBay. You know, someone can maybe know how to fix it, and they can. Oh, no, I, I would try to... Before I, I would give it away, I would open it and see if I could solder it on there. No, I don't know, but... Uh, but, uh, and the GoldenEye, uh, I don't have a Nintendo. It makes me want to buy one just for the GoldenEye on them. Switch. Yeah, and that's $300. They got, a, they got a Switch Lite. Yeah, but... It's cheaper. Because it's still like 300 bucks, I think. Why would it be the same price if it's the Lite version? I don't know. I've, I've looked them up, and uh, they're expensive. I could be wrong. I could probably buy a used one. But uh, Gold Knight, I murdered people on that thing. Legitly, civilian number two, if they make it exactly like what it used to be. They should do that. 159 Oh, that's not too bad. 
Uh, there's no hope for anybody. I think the Nintendo Switch Lite is the only the handheld. That don't no, have there's the absolutely dock. zero way that I'd play that. And also, can you hook up a a, a, a Nintendo 64 to the Switch? So that controller. Is- 319. Can you hook up a Nintendo 64 controller to the Switch? Because you have to play with the Nintendo 64 controller for the Goldeneye. I don't know. But uh, I'd have to learn a new controller. But anyways, um, I was pretty good with civilian number two. And the Bloodborne, I'm, I looked into that on Amazon. And uh, it's $43 for the first three books. And... Um, it looked really badass, and I could buy it on eBay. Complete collection. I wonder what comes with. Um, sorry, I'm over here shopping. Uh, item description from seller, and it's in what looks to be Russian. So I will not be buying that. And the seller is away until December 30th, 1st, 2030. Well, um, that guy's dead. Um, the Nintendo 64 can also be paired as a Nintendo Switch system using a licensed accessory, such as a dual USB play stand for Nintendo Switch Lite. Oh, okay, whatever. So um, yeah, it's possible. Possible, yeah. But uh, I'm I'm probably gonna buy the Bloodborne. Um, probably gonna buy that. I just bought a graphic novel that I'm waiting on delivery. Um, from uh, Ripaverse. I don't know if I've talked about that. But uh, Riververse is like going to be pretty awesome, and they got a lot of people that bought into it because it was almost like a crowdfunding thing. Yeah. But yeah. So, anyways, which one are we going to? Uh, Gator or the Fireball? Let's go Gator. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, do we have anything else? Ads or anything? I need to run. No, we just ran up from uh, okay. Greggy Death. So uh, that was it, right? Yeah. And I just so, deleted. What I just wanted to pull up. Oh, that ain't that a fuck that. Right here? Yeah, okay. So, uh, full screen that. So, real quick. Don't talk. I have to put audio on it. If you're going to. See how big that is? Uh, Apparently, that gator. Oh, we'll get a better perspective right here. Jesus. That so, alligator uh, was terrorizing a Zimbabwe village, apparently. Does it stay uh, in this? How big? How long it is? They think that it's 15 uh, feet long, and part of the tail was broke. Yeah, See, sure, sure. where it's broken off from a prior incident, I guess. So, if you're measuring from here. You know, they, they, they that's an old gator. They can get it. So, them guys are probably our size. 5'11", 5'8", somewhere around there. A lot taller than So, 5'5". Five, five, oh, yeah. So, that's a damn huge fucking gator. Yeah. And uh, and that's not a gator. That's a crocodile. Yeah, that's right. Crocodile, duh. Alligators are here in the United States. But that's a massive. That's, y'all, y'all, um, look at me. This is why I know there's not crocs in America, but this is why I don't swim in lakes or rivers. Because of this shit right here. I do swim in oceans, but usually it's clear oceans. And I'm getting to the point where I don't even know if I want to get in there no more. Uh, if I want to go swimming, I just go in a pool. Most likely there's nothing in there. Just uh, chlorine. <laughs> There's not creatures most of the time. Most of the time you can see in the water before you get in. So if there is a creature, you get in the water. So I'll just, um, yeah, I'm probably, this helps me. River monsters, Johnny. This is a fucking river monster. That it is. Um, we got one more ad. Um, the irrigation pond, uh, it says, was a place locals used often to get water. Um, yeah, and I think it was just terrorizing this village. Over 200 people get killed by uh, crocodiles a year. An estimated, and this, I think they said this one was around 15 feet long and over 1,000 pounds. So, it's massive. I just thought uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a shame that it, it they killed it, really. 
but it's huge. It, yeah, but it was killing people, and it is huge. Um, so that sucks. You know what I mean? What did you say? Oh, um, no, I'm paying attention. Uh, so uh, before we go into this next topic, uh, just give this a uh, a gander. Our f- uh, friends at uh, Nightmare Toys. Oh yeah. You need a horror collectibles and memorabilia? Look no further than Nightmare Toys. You can find them online at NightmareToys.com and on all social media at Nightmare Toys, the official store of THN News and the Horror Basement Podcast. Check them out. NightmareToys.com Hell yeah. Uh, so, are we doing the, are we doing the fireball? Yeah, I just deleted it. Okay, here we go. Uh, we're gonna play this video, this, look at this cool video, this fireball in Scotland. Pretty sure it was a meteor, but, uh, that's pretty awesome. Alright. Holy shit. They got multiple views of it, see? So, I mean... Wow, look at the lightning up the clouds. Damn, they do got a shit ton of Yeah, they got a bunch of videos. That's kind of scary, you know? Yeah, it almost looks like a missile. Dude, look at it going behind this cloud. It's just like, what the fuck? It's making noise, too? Well, I mean, it's entering the Earth's atmosphere, so it's like exploding. That would be, that would legit be terrifying. Yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, and it said it approximately lasts approximately twenty seconds. But do you know what suck is like not seeing it? You know what I mean? Like, damn, that was right over my house. Yeah. You know, but the, I mean, that's how much stuff we don't see because we're in the bed. Yeah. Where are we supposed to be? So could we have seen it here? No, that was in Scotland. Too far away, bud. Earth isn't flat, so. <laughs> or is it? <laughs> you let me know. Because I don't know. I've only been told by the government and NASA that it's round. <laughs> I'm not going to start that. <laughs> no, 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 don't listen to all that. No. I'm not going to start that. I'm just joking. That's a joke. That's a joke. Hell yeah. Well, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed all that. Yes, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Tingler Television. Tingler.television.com. Make sure you go there. Uh, watch us on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. I got to do better about throw promoting. I, I, well, I was somewhere last night. I didn't get a chance to, but I'm going to work on that better. Um, anyways, stay tuned uh, for uh, part six of Paranormal Activity. Um, oh, and this is where you will learn, if you stuck around, what I meant by the gypsy. Gaga. Yeah. That's what you'll learn. So yeah, uh stay did tuned. Did I say Gaga? Yeah, you did. Okay. So stay tuned uh, after immediately after this. Uh this you'll see Portal Activity Part Six. So Johnny, I guess that's all we got. We out. Peace. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Uh, we're about to do a Skype call with uh, someone Johnny said uh, he knows, a gypsy or something, that uh, could help me with this situation of the uh, the uh, ghost splooging on my face. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, you say you know a gypsy, right? Yeah, I know a gypsy. Uh, I'll get you in contact with her. Um, her? Yeah. Her? Okay. Well, I mean... Because I know the last time... With the fucking ghost hunter, that didn't help at all. Hey, he had a fucking flashlight and the camera. I mean, he's pretty official. He he studied online, and it's on his Instagram. So he's a fucking real ghost hunter. It looks like he got that fucking flashlight from Walmart and that camera from a fucking pawn shop. <laughs> Man. I don't judge anybody for what they do in their life. He's paid eight hundred dollars for the shit. Is what he said. Well, he got know. he got ripped off. 
I don't know. I think you got ripped off on this dog. But I'm not making fun of you for it. What's wrong with my dog, my weenie? He thinks that he's a lap dog, and he's not. He, he, he's small-minded. He is. But, uh, yeah, so my gypsy friend will help you out, though. Trust me. I think she'll be able to get rid of it for you. But she might have a little facial hair, but don't mention it. Just don't mention it. Is she in the sideshow? Don't mention Dude, it doesn't, just don't mention it, okay? Okay. Be respectful. You know I'm not going to be able to. She'll help you out. Right. Trust me. She's going to help you out. All right, so I guess, uh, yeah, we're going to call her. All right, so her name's Madam Lovatsky. Just And like I said, don't mention the beard. Dude. Hey, look, it's a genetic thing. It's all, it's all good, man. Okay, just call her. She's waiting. All right, all right, sure. We can't give out her Skype name, though, because I don't want people blowing her up. I know it's Scott because it's... <laughs> Lovatsky? What? Good evening, friends. Madam Lovatsky, this is my friend, uh, Jimmy, Jim Jam. He's been oh. haunted by a semen demon. Oh, yes, I remember I hear about you. Uh, <clears throat> your friend here tell me about you, and I see you in my, my crystal ball. It seems that you have a, uh, a problem with a ghost that, um... How do you say, uh, ejaculates on your face? Yeah, but you know what? Something else is strange. You kind of look like, uh, you kind of look like Yeti. Who? That's, that's, Yeti has glasses, dude. Oh, yeah, that's true. But you can see it do not have glasses, like he said. Yeah, I mean, come on. So how? Obviously. So how can I, uh, how can you help me with the semen demon? Well, you, you see, what I do usually to make a ghost stop to coming on my face is to just swallow. What? Swallow? Yes, are you not, are you not uh, uh, giving oral pleasure to the ghost first? Uh, no, I just hear the noise of it doing whatever and then I open a door and She's it's... got a good point. She? Oh, yes. shit. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's a woman. Oh, my. I saw facial hair. I didn't know. Oh, Shut shit. Oh, facial, facial hair. Facial hair. This is this is a mark of my tribe. That's a genetic <laughs> thing. Shut the fuck up, man. She's trying to help you. you See, what asshole. I do when I want the ghost to stop coming in my face is I don't pull it out of my mouth before he's done. No, no, no. You're missing the point, Miss Lovatsky. It just happens. Oh, yes, I see. I see. So, Jesus, so yeah. you, you hear the sound of the ghost approaching orgasm. Yeah. And then what? And then, like, it's usually behind a door, and I open the door, and then he splooges in my face. Ah, the spirits are telling me this is a very simple problem to solve. Please tell me. Don't open the fucking door. I have con that, no, I that is a very yeah. good point. I don't know why you keep opening the doors. Maybe it is because uh, deep down inside you want to see, uh, how do you say, the ghosts, uh... Wee, uh, wee, wee, ghost dick? Yes, you, are you looking for, are you maybe, maybe well, you should consult some things within you. Well, me, well, on our podcast, The Horror Basement, we have discussed the uh, ghost dick, and I would like to see if a ghost wear clothes. But, the um, Miss, uh... Lovatsky, uh, we had a ghost hunter, and oh uh, yes, and he was saying that uh, the semen demon was attached inside him. Is that a possibility? Yes, it is a very good possibility. Think, think, think. You you understand that ghosts are 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 people who have passed on. Now think to yourself: if there was someone who continuously let you come on their faces, would you not be attached? Well, I don't let people come on my faces. Ah, but you do. <laughs> yeah, the, spirits, the spirits say that if you put a clove of garlic in your pocket and carry it with you at all times, and then when you hear the sound of the ghost sex, you open wide your mouth, the ghost will no longer 
Come on your face. I thought she was going to be more helpful. I'm sorry. I thought she was going to be more helpful. So, are, so, so pretty much now you're saying that I got to fucking swallow this load. Uh, are, are, are we looking for a different option? I would like to just not have to get splooged oh. on at all. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're trying to get yeah, rid of the same endaymen, not encourage the same endaymen's, you know, thing. This is very strange. I, I, you see, I do not have any, uh, because, you know, I, you, some, well, anyway, <laughs> what you can do is you have to, to, get bells you understand bells and you put them in your pocket and, and on the bottoms of your or, or your pants so you jingle when you walk that way you you will frighten the ghost he will not he will hear you coming and therefore you will you will interrupt his fornication Miss therefore Lebowski. he cannot ejaculate the problem is is Jimmy hears the ghost about coming and still opens the door. That is a problem. You could avoid all of this, you understand? So, no gloves of garlic, no bells, just don't open the door. Just curiosity. So so he needs to wear bells so the ghost will leave the semen demon will leave him alone. Ah oh, yes, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You hear that? Dude. There it is again, man. They're doing it, dude. Can you hear that, girl? <laughs> I hear. I hear. Oh my God. Sounds very virile and, and sexy. Yes. Mm. Oh, I think it's coming from the closet. I gotta check Ooh. this. Don't, don't open the door, you fool. But if you open the door, you will only come on your face again. Oh God. It's a chance I'm gonna have to take. Oh God. Right. I know a way to protect you. Yes. Okay. It is a very ancient type of divination. Okay, it will, it will help you. It will put the shield around you. What I will need you to do is to your to your camera receptor. I need you to hold up your credit card, and I will take those numbers from the front and the back of your credit card, okay, and uh, possibly your personal identification number. See, I will do work those into a ritual that will help to shield you from all ghost semen from from here on up. Okay, one second. Does this work? Oh yes, it is very, very good. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, yes, it's very good. I'm writing down now. Yes, very good. And and the other side, the other side for me. Thank you. Ah uh, yes, very good. Uh, now, what is the credit limit on this card? Um, five hundred thousand. Oh, very, very good. I will protect you so well from this. This will be a very powerful ritual, and it will be done. It is, it is. The ritual is done. You are protected from here on out. You can save no gas with them numbers. No semen get what? on your face. I think you might be able to save gas with them numbers too. Sweet. So, how much did it, how much did this cost me? Oh, don't worry. It is free of charge. Why? Why did you need my my credit card? Uh, the numbers are an important part of a ritual. See, they are important numbers to you, and to to put them into ritual to make sure that uh, it's very personal and. Uh, she wouldn't. Um, she wouldn't stray you, man. Oh no, no, no! I'm gypsy. Gypsy. Gypsies are gypsies known are for good. being honest, honest people. Da -da -ding! Hey, I just got an email for a purchase. Of a big black dildo. That is, uh, that is not, uh, <laughs> that is very strange. It must be the ghost. The ghost is buying dildos now? Yeah. Yes, it's very good. It's all part of the ritual you understand. It has to be the ghost. It has to be. It's, who, it's who letting else you know. Would use your, who else would use your credit card to buy a giant black dildo with dangly balls attached? He didn't now, say nothing about the dangly balls. I am a gypsy. I can see the future. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Well, I just got another email for a, a, a gallon size of lube. What the fuck, well, dude? Well, of course, the ghost must have to buy the lube with the giant dildo. Otherwise, it would not fit it with its giant she's baby. She's got large circumference. 
So got a point. I mean, ghosts need loot too. So the ghost is using my credit card and not you. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Why would I use your credit card? I don't know. You might. I am here to help, my friend. I don't, know, I don't know if you might want to help your butthole. I meant your vagina. Well, you know, <laughs> that is that is why I don't have to buy the, the giant, ultra thick black dildo with dangly balls and veins, because uh, you see, I have I have ghosts of my own. Oh, yeah. That was very specific. Very specific. Okay. So, yeah, so I'm gonna. Oh, Don't worry though, you can open the door and you will be very much protected. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, because you are not protected at all. Hey. Your credit card and you can be protected. Uh, Would you like me to be <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. Hey, God, Lord, man, they're really going at it, y'all. Dude, I don't know, man. Hold on, let me. Romero, come here. Yeah, don't. Come here, boy. All right, here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> Protected, you fucking lying whore. Was he wearing the bells? No. But you said about it. You have got them. the bells. You forgot the bells, my friend. Did you? Ah, you forgot the bells. Well, being as it is didn't work, we can try again next week. You'll just have to use a different credit card. In the meantime, do you maybe need your house painted or your driveway refinished? Good. We're, we're good. Are you sure? He's good. Would you like me to tell your future? He's got more pressing matters. Oh, yes, you should probably clean yourself. Yeah. God damn. That's up. Oh, dude, that's rough. Uh, Very much like a good uh, gum gumbo. It tastes better than it smells. I don't know. Ma'am. Definitely a ma'am. Yes, very much. I definitely have a vagina. Dude! How bad is it, man? It's fucking bad. You see this? You see this fucking shit? Oh my god, it looks like he was edging. And you're very, <laughs> very full. I'm oof. What well, is edging? I'm sitting in a chair full of oyster soup right now. Oh, my lord. Where can I get haunted like you? Dude. Man. Here. I gotta use... This is bullshit. I gotta use paper towel you can get that off with. What? Dude, it's... It might have some cheese residue on it. Oh, mm -hmm. Here. Is this bigger? I just wiped this off my face. I don't know for some reason I want to eat this. You should definitely eat it. Maybe it'll stop splooging on you. Oh, that's fucking gross, dude. Dude. It smells like fish, but it tastes like cheese dip. Yeah. I might have I might be addicted to this ghost. Yes, from now on, just open your mouth, open wide, and, and, I think and he's more receive about... the gift of the spirits. He's a dick to do you. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I should be paying you at this point. Should I eat it? <laughs> Should I eat it? You should definitely eat it. It will help you. Don't. Dude, this is just like total boyfriend. Stop! It's fucking lotion. Oh, dude, dude. Dip it in the cheese dip. Edit this part out. Oh, crap, it broke. Put your glasses on, Yeti. Put your glasses on and watch Oh my god, dude. There, uh, there is only uh, only one way to truly rid yourself of the spirit. And that is? You must propose marriage. Are you... Get, well, I guess that is legal now, right? Uh, well, you know, more or less. You propose marriage, he will show his fear of commitment and run away. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess we'll have to do that. I'll have to go get a ring. Yes, yes, sure. 
I don't know who can sell you a ring. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, don't taste it! <laughs> what the it's fuck are you doing, you fucking salty. weirdo? It's salty. It tastes like, how do you say biscuits and gravy? Oh. Enjoy it. Stop! Oh. Fucking nasty son oh. of a bitch. It tastes like fish. Why does it taste like fish? Well, it tastes like what he's eating. <laughs> Death changes a man. Getting screwed on? No, no, death. It changes the the color, the, the makeup of the the, uh, the how do you say baby batter uh, makes it more fishy and a little more salty. It's it's like a nice egg drop soup. Stop! <laughs> Fucking freak here. Oh, yeah, dip. Isn't that what you said, Johnny? Yeah, I know a gypsy. I've got how, a dog now. How do you know a gypsy? Man, you know my travels around the world. Did a gypsy come up to your door and try to fix your driveway or something? No, no, no. It's from something else. It's just, I got, I got a friend that's a gypsy, man. Why, why so many questions? I don't know. I'm just curious how you know a fucking gypsy. Do online stuff, dude. Oh. Like it's not that big of a deal, dude. That dog is huge. That is not, <laughs> he that thinks is... he's a lap dog, but he's not. It's a big ass. Like a mob boss. But anyways, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you're very, you're aggressively petting that weenie. That's how weenies like to get petted. <laughs> this is I was rolled by. <laughs> All right, so. Here we're gonna, <laughs> gonna have to Now it's time to say goodbye to Basement Guys again. And we'd like to thank you folks for kindly dropping in. You're all invited back next week to this locality. To have a heap and helping of their hospitality. Or that is spooks and spells. Take your shirt off. Y'all come back now. Here?